One cold autumn morning, Bert the miniature engine was pulling a train of ballast down from the mine. You all right, Bert? Yep, just catching my breath. Having trouble building steam up again? Ugh, the trouble never left. If you need a rest, we're making good time now. We can probably stop for a few minutes. No, I'm fine. The second I give up is the second I let this minor inconvenience become a problem. And I don't fancy doing that. It is a problem, Bert. And it's one you shouldn't be ashamed of. It isn't your fault. You need a good overhaul, eh? The small controller says I'll get one soon, but until then, I'm going to work as hard as I can. Let me worry about my problems. Ugh, you're stubborn, you know that? Most engines would give up for half the pain you're feeling. But you keep going. You're either the most resilient chap around, or the most foolish. Not sure which one. <laughs> Maybe both? <laughs> um, either way, I refuse to let something so petty slow me down. It's gonna take a lot more than steaming troubles to stop me. Driver, who's that? Where? To our right, standing between the tree at- Oh, I swear I just saw someone standing there. Ha! <laughs> You're losing it in your old age, Bert. Huh, I guess so. Hello there, Bert. Oh, uh, hi, Duck. Everything alright there? You seem a bit distracted. Yeah, actually I am. I saw this man standing in the forest, watching me. I looked away for a second, and then when I looked back, he was gone. I think I'm losing it, Duck. I wouldn't say that. Your railway was laid on the bed of the old Mitsodor, and they had no shortage of supernatural stories. Perhaps one of them could explain what you saw. So, you think I saw a ghost? Not for certain. However, it could explain it, right? I suppose so. I guess that's a better explanation than me going see now. If I may, what exactly do you think I saw? Well, I wasn't there, so I can't really answer that properly. However, if you tell me what this man looked like, maybe I can make an informed guess. He was pretty far off, so I didn't get a close look at him. But, he was wearing an old railway man's uniform. A driver or workman, maybe? Or a guard? Um, yeah, possibly. Well, an old legend tells of the spirit of an angry mid god who wanders around the island, looking to make life hell-like for unsuspecting engines. Uh, you don't think there's any truth to that, do you? I'm not the engine you should be asking about that. I wasn't around back then. Perhaps you should take it up with Duke. I'm sure he knows a thing or two about it. And you said he wanders the island? Yes. He's been spotted nearly everywhere on the railway. Though what he's actually been able to do is supposed to be strongest at the location of his former employment. Which is... Here. Yes. Well, that's my signal. I must be off now. Goodbye, Bert. Take care out there. So long, Duck. Thanks for broadening my knowledge, I guess. Did steam find its way into your pistons all right, Bert? Just fine, Mike. You don't sound too sure about that. Your age is finally catching up to you, Bert. Maybe it's time to finally consider retirement. You listen here. I and I alone decide when I'm done. All I need is a small tune-up. Small tune-up? You need a whole ass overhaul, Bert. Better get one soon, otherwise you'll fall apart where you stand. 
Oh, you know if either of you had half the pain I did, you wouldn't have the strength to leave your shed. The way you sound, I'd reckon you don't have many more trips out of the shed left in you. I've got plenty of strength left in me. Tell you what, Bert. I'll be more than happy to pick up the slack when you finally give out. Huh. I'm glad to know I'm surrounded by such kind and caring friends. I'm going to sleep now. I eagerly await my continued berating in the morning. Morning, Bert. How are you feeling this morning? Fine, sir. Just taking a little longer than usual to get ready is all. That's good to hear. We still can't afford your overhaul yet, so I'm afraid you'll have to make do for a little while longer. But I'm hoping by next spring we'll have the necessary funds. That's all right, sir. Thank you for doing what you can. You're welcome. If you ever feel like you're in too much pain to work, just let me know. The others can cover for you if needed. Will do, sir. Again, thank you. You alright this morning, Bert? You sound even worse than usual. Keep this low, but no, I'm not alright. This is the worst I've felt in a long time. Are you sure you can pull this train? I'm sure the small controller can find another engine if- No! The other two already give me a hard enough time as it is. I can pull the train. I'll try and be a little early so I have some time to rest. Well, if you're sure you can do it, I'm not gonna stop you. Thank you. Oh, come on, come on. Must keep going. Whoa, boy, slow down. Your steam pressure's running high. I'm fine, just let me work at my own pace. Oh, no, not today. It appears your safety valve has burst. I'm aware. Huh? Good lord, Bert. You alright? Yes, Frank. I'm fine. Guess I just pushed myself a little too hard. I'll say. You have steaming problems, Bert. You need to stop pushing yourself so hard. Yeah, I know. I just don't want to be known as the engine who gives up when the going gets tough. What kind of an example would that set? Good one about knowing your limits, that's what. <sighs> I worry about you, Bert never seem to know your limits. You need a good overhaul. I understand we can't afford one at the moment, but until we can, you gotta take it easy. I'll take it easy until it interferes with my work. Thank you for caring, Frank, but please, let me deal with my own problems. <sighs> you say so.
Well, what do we have here, Rex? It looks like we've got ourselves a layabout, Mike. Not very useful if you ask me. I'm just getting that tune-up I talked about. I'll be back to work tomorrow. I just need my tubes cleared. And at least I tried to pull my train today. You two would have just stayed in the shed and moaned to be taken to the workshop. I'd argue it takes a bigger engine to admit he's too ill to work than to go out anyway knowing you'll fail and end up right back in the shed anyway. You'll never know when you're truly too sick to work if you don't try. Besides, Mike, didn't you yourself say you'd be more than happy to pick up my slack? I, um, well... That's what I thought. So, Bert, when are you going to tell us about your hallucinations? I beg your pardon? Spoke with Duck today, you know, when I was covering your train. He told me you've been talking about some old man who keeps appearing and disappearing. Care to explain? Well, uh, yes, there's this man dressed in an old guard uniform, I think. I've seen him watching me a few times now. You're not going to believe me, but I think he's been stalking me. You're right, Bert. I don't believe you. Crazy old Bert. Going senile in his old age. The small controller needs to hurry up with your overhaul. Looks like you need it worse than I thought. Ugh. This is exactly why I didn't tell either of you. Of course you two wouldn't be mature enough to handle it. Immature is better than insane, I reckon. Ooh, look out, Bert. The Phantom Guard is coming for you. Don't you close your eyes, Bert. He'll get you when you're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Weeks passed, and soon the guard had all but faded from everyone's minds. Bert's condition was rapidly declining, and the poor engine knew he still had a lengthy wait before the railway could afford his overhaul. Are you sure you're fine today, Bert? You sound terrible! No, I'm not fine. I haven't been for years. I only told you I was this morning so that you wouldn't leave me in the shed. Oh, Bert, you shouldn't have done that. You're gonna hurt yourself worse than you already have. Yeah, well, working helps take my mind off of it. Forcing yourself to work also makes things worse. Oof, I'll be fine. Just worry about yourself. My problems are my problems. Hello, Bert. How are you today? About the same as usual, Frank. Thanks for asking. Yeah, yeah, about that. Look, Bert, I know you've been getting worse lately. I understand it's not my business or whatever, but you, you really need to take some time off. I say that not in a mocking or demeaning way. I'm saying it as your friend. No offense taken. You've always been good to me, Frank, and I appreciate that you're worried, but my advice is not to. I can take care of myself. Yes, I know. I just don't want you to hurt yourself. Don't worry. The small controller says my overhaul will be ready in the spring. I've just got to hang in there until then. He said it would be ready last spring as well. I'd wager it'll be ready the spring after next, soon. Then what? I'll do what I always do. Keep on keeping on. You're an anomaly, Bert. But you're a dedicated anomaly. Take care now. I will, Frank. You as well. Afraid the points are jammed up ahead. We got a team of workmen coming to fix them, but they won't be here for a while. How long is a while? Uh, a couple of hours, most likely. The men are busy clearing storm debris from the forest, so they gotta attend to that first. Alright, thanks for letting me know. Yep. Sit tight. 
They'll be here before you know it. Not like I have many other options. Looks like you should have just stayed in the shed today, Bert. You'd have accomplished the same amount either way. <laughs> yeah. Points are all fixed now. You're clear to leave. About time. <clears throat> Easy boy, your pressure's running high. I I can manage, thanks. No. <clears throat> That's done it. You've burst your safety valve. Yeah, yeah, trust me, I, I know. Right. I'm gonna head up back the line to the nearest signal box. I'll be back soon. See you then. Huh? Who? Yes, it's me. You've seen me watching you for some time now. Figured it was about time I said hello. Who are you? That's the beauty of it, isn't it? You haven't a clue who I am, and yet, I know everything about you, Bert. What, what do you want? You look even more pathetic up close. Credit where it's due, you push on. Even though you know you're past it, you tell yourself every day that things will get better, but deep down, you know all too well they won't. The others know it, yet for some reason, you refuse to accept it. But that doesn't change the fact that you are weak. You barely have the strength to leave your shed in the morning. You can hardly move. You're a failure. N no, I'm not. I'm strong. I have to be. I. Quite the contrary. You are not strong, nor have you ever been. You are the result of a design flaw that went unnoticed until it was too late to be rectified. You were destined for failure the day you were drawn up. I almost pity you, but then I remember what you steam engines took from me, and I suddenly feel no remorse for what I am about to do. I just wanted to make sure you were aware of what you really are before I did it. Did, did what? What are you going to do? What should have been done a long time ago. Hey, no, no, stop! All your life you've left a legacy of failure and disappointment. 
This is merely the culmination of all that. No, help! Hey, please! Hey, somebody! Farewell, Bert. Perhaps you will amount to more than a waste of metal in hell. No, no, no! Uh, no, 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 no! No, no, no! Well? Gone. Killed instantly upon impact. Oh lord! I... I can't believe this is happening. He was like a brother to us. This... doesn't feel real. Oh, and I was horrid to him leading up to this. I didn't mean any of it. I never expected... Oh, Bert, why did it have to happen to you? This is going to be hard for all of us so I'm closing the railway for the rest of the week. This news was a shock to all of us. I think we all need some time to reflect. I just don't understand how this happened. The track on the bridge was just inspected. It was in perfect condition. How could he have just fallen off it? What is it, Rex? You, you guys don't think that that guard he was talking about had something to do with this, do you? You there, come with me to my office. I have some important orders to share with you. It should only take a few minutes. All right, I'll be back in a minute, Atlas. All right, see you then. Hello, Atlas. Huh? Remember me? I, I yes, I, I do. But how are you? That's not right, you. Died? <laughs> yes, it didn't exactly tickle when you smashed through the back of my van. But alas, though my physical form is no longer intact, I live on, now with a new glorious purpose. Look, I'm sorry about what happened a while ago. It was an accident. <laughs> Worry not, there's no hard feelings. You always were a wise fellow, Atlas, so surely you'll understand the reasoning for what I'm about to do. Hey, what are you doing? Just leveling the playing field, Atlas. You took my life, and now I've come to claim yours. You, you can't! What happened earlier was an accident! So long, my friend. Our relationship was complicated, but a fun one nonetheless. 
Driver, come back! Somebody come back! Somebody help! No!